innovation into entrepreneurial ventures. Otherwise, technology, commercialization, and all those things happen, but innovator doesn't get, not the institute get a very fair deal of the situation. If you send it to the larger, uh, sell it to the larger, you know, corporate house, always bargaining, you lose out as an academic institute. Yeah. Also, it encourages, you know, target audience to become the first generation in entrepreneurs, you know. If you can't do it earlier in olden days in India, failure was considered a stigma. Nowadays, it is not. In fact, most of our boys now who are getting into entrepreneurship, they come with the mindset, we'll experiment for two to three and nothing happens, then we will go and get absorbed in the job. And during that process also, you learn so much in a startup that you are not really unemployable, uh, unemployable even if you miss out, you know, as a student campus, campus recruitment. Yeah. Again, you know, in India research side, you know, lots of theoretical research is happening. So end usage is, you know, it's not getting converted into the end usage. So having incubator right on the campus actually enhances, you know, applied research uh, on the campus. Sometimes in the social and um, uh, uh, strategic venture, they have a large societal impact. Yeah, so all this thing basically and it overall generate why Silicon Valley is so vibrant. Yeah, they, they don't have incubator, but it's so conducive for entrepreneurship. I don't think in Boston area, the environment has been replicated to that much, right? So generally, it's good to have a larger ecosystem, you know, in a place when you talk about successful entrepreneurship. And incubator actually helps to get the whole ecosystem in a, maybe in a smaller way, but you know, in a very local environment where people start learning entrepreneurial dynamic. And these are the reason why you ought to have incubator on academic campus. So you work on legal entity, you work on your relationship with the host, next what? Infrastructure, managing infrastructure, and how do you deal with the admission process? Our infrastructure, I told you, we provide company. Yesterday, you all came. We provide per company support, which includes office space, which can accommodate about 10, 12 people, with computing facility, furniture, uh, internet facility, telecommunication facility. We have meeting rooms, board rooms. Board rooms are equipped with audio, video conferencing facilities. So we also provide, because we are not a domain specific incubator, we don't have a very large, you know, common infrastructure support, like uh, in chemical segment, you have certain, you know, larger equipments, which can be commonly used by many companies, those kind of support, we don't have it. So we give specialized, you know, equipment support or need base to our company, it is important to do it. And uh, company specific specialized infrastructure like, you know, because we are a broad spectrum incubator, yesterday we've been to, we have only one, uh, one laboratory in, in the whole incubator spread in three units, you know, which can uh, accommodate one or two chemistry kind of com companies coming out of chemical or chemistry areas. But again, this was not anticipated earlier and we didn't create until the company came to us. And this infrastructure we built up only last year. We converted one center into a laboratory space last year only. And as long as we, we are concerned, we, we, our infrastructure is very broad, so it also includes our intangible support. In fact, we emphasize a lot on our intangible support rather than physical infrastructure, which is our own business network, which is our, our mentoring, you know, closely hand-holding the company, our mentoring support to the companies. Not only that, we also have retained certain with certain professional expertise, legal resource, chartered accountant, tax con consultant, IP consultant. They come to the incubator, we pay them. They come there once in a month or so, and they give advisory support to our companies. So those kind of support uh, value uh, service offering is also including in sign, sign sub support system. Uh, it depends how do you negotiate. Uh, typical, uh, it could be anything between you know ten thousand to fifty thousand, depending on the person you get monthly. Yeah, but per per once in a month. But depending on the person you get, right? 
but like see in our case iit also has a good brand name so those guys also get benefited okay, okay i am going and, and it comes under their social responsibilities area right so we have people with 5 7 years of experience not very high profile if we have certain deals so we have some good lawyers and people on our panel yeah if some good deals are happening then we touch base with them you know we direct companies to go to them advisory support this people are very good enough 5 7 years they don't charge us so much that's our deal because we also can't afford you know that kind of yeah so it's uh, like you know 5 to 7000 per visit we give for for 4 5 hours which is very 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 reasonable and they are also available on email so uh, incubator infrastructure needs to be according to the domain and also company profile essentially it is a basically you know infrastructure should be such that it provides a uh, plug and play platform to the company so for us you know whenever company comes to us incubation once it is approved the company entrepreneur just need to walk in and get started everything is in place and then it will be appreciated because otherwise you keep on after company comes you you know keep on adding furniture and pc and four five days you take in tele uh, telephone lines and all those things doesn't doesn't give a very good taste with the company also so essentially you you uh, our infrastructure provides a you know plug and play platform in fact iit like you know i i, I don't know i should say or not but iit we have typical problem that our administrative request you know response times are very very slow at the institute level so during crisis time like you know i remember professor fartak loves to tell this incident that crisis time uh, one one team came and i don't know whether he mentioned about this or not but one team came faculty member team and uh, incubation they approved okay theek hai so kab ek do mahine mein hum office le lenge can we take office in one or two months are like you know professor lago i this is the key just get started in like you know it was a big shock they were numb for initial 5 10 minutes because they themselves were not equipped to get into the office you know theek hai ye plan kiya hai but we also have to have team and get the people but I, and we have maintained that history that people come and just get started and we don't give cubicles it's a full fledged office and that needs to be uh, provided and one thing is that putting in infrastructure in place is one thing that is easier to be done but maintenance is really a, you know it's a regular it's very difficult you must be aware and maintenance is right from repair to upgrading yeah so it's a very difficult job time consuming also you know costly but you know in our side what we have done is that mm, this incubate company ip gets transferred against equity but if they have to use laboratory space and all those thing it is not a free you have to route it through regular industrial sale and they have to pay yeah only thing because you are on the campus and you have bargaining influence so cost structure comes out very cheap so again like you know come specific specialized lip report it is very important to do it even if you have fo- you you have domain spe- domain specific focus but someone needs certain specialized support it's important to do but while you do it's important to create a balance the cost that is spent whether it is worth to spend on a single person or not single company or not and after that company moves out what do you do with that equipment whether there will be user in future or not and maybe yesterday you were talking right you can actually have some for specialized support you can have you know special deal with the companies you know deal could be you know let them share the cost of front cost for example or place a deposit with you something like that right deal that while they graduate they repurchase from the incubator so you can get some cash plus you also take advantage of depreciation during the time that they are in the incubator right so or rent may be charged something so i think you need to work out on a space so any additional support create you know think somewhat business like 
with business mindset okay okay chahiye leke de diya to recover the cost important to recover the cost because it require constant upgrading also repair and i have already said so i will but this is very important all your facility agreements with your uh, you know with your client should have a clause to protect you know from any damage to your infrastructure and make them pay for that otherwise your free infrastructure it will not have value and take my words it will never come to you in as it is shape and they will always come in a damage damage shape. so legal you know actually we have made our companies pay for damage infrastructure next is operation do you have any um, uh, this thing I, I don't think it requires major debate but any any particular question on infrastructure side you were talking about some costing no i uh, wanted to know about the accounts or something no, the tax implications tax implications for the uh, the company is uh, liable to tax companies are liable to tax huh it's uh, now how they are the incubator no, no. So, companies are incubated they are independent entity from the incubator yeah so incubate sorry incubator is what it's basically some support system which is managed by legally independent legal entity that is incubator companies who come to the incubator they use this infrastructure they are a separate entity so this will be the deductible expenses which one for the so whatever incubator charges to the company it is a deductible expenses for them so that equity portion of what you are showing equity is not expense not expense it goes in balance sheet yeah but that means you are holding it so we are holding on the um, we are on their inv- yeah. I mean on the yeah we are on their uh, the thing yeah you are shielded from we being a no profit organization we got a partial exemption hey, did you uh, i think full uh, so i think these people probably got full exemption we didn't get a full exemption so we have to figure out uh, so probably that's what yeah so you tell me but i think if you are going to be a no profit organization very important tip simultaneously apply for tax exemption yeah in the year one itself that's one thing and second thing is that incubator if they are funded by dst then they are also uh, exempt from service taxes so dst has to issue a letter so both the things you pursue so that whatever revenue you generate at least you can plow back to your operation not by paying the taxes yeah uh, let me let me quickly go through our operational framework before i get into actual admission process so eligibility criteria i already defined we are a, we take ip based product based company fund, founded by at least one of the founding member has to be from iit bombay uh, uh, we don't take consulting we don't take you know service uh, startups in our incubator admission in the incubator is subject to you know admission process certain review process so whoever walks in doesn't generally get the admission yeah um uh, our consideration model i said majority equity small revenue and subsidized rent our support is for 3 years but out of 3 years basically we give initially to begin with only for 18 months if venture doesn't do well we ge- don't generally you know extend for next 18 months so it gets reviewed at the end of the 18 months based on the progress it gets extended for another 18 months so first 18 months again our rent is very small next 18 months it is somewhat on higher side yeah uh, we have a very clear formal legal relationship with our companies very important to do it facility agreement in our case consideration agreement so equity revenue sharing yeah if we provide any cash then cash if we provide any specialized equipment then that equip agreement to offer that equipment we dst in a coach we uh, tdb had given us a small fund which we have consumed but some of the companies we funded but very small 10 lakhs if it is equity then we take equity interest then it is uh, very very soft three percent 
but we at least ensure that we get our money back and actually we haven't lost, lost so far we haven't lost a single penny in any company i don't know down the line one year or so what would be the situation so yeah you say you haven't you haven't lost a single penny in a company but you've had a couple of companies which completely folded yeah <laughs> and so so how did you not no. lose he said that so our support system also have some you know investment cash cash investment on case to case basis it is not by default to all our companies okay. yeah we take a call whether we we give or not okay. and for this cash funded company we haven't lost a single okay, penny so, for the, for the so cash, cash money cash portion has come back yeah, but I, I think yesterday you mentioned about, uh, he meant uh, there are lots of debate why we are limiting to, you know, only yeah. our own community, you ask several, even Dr. Prasad and others. I'll tell uh, so one company actually we had given them a loan and that is the company where the promoters had a fight between themselves, right? And we knew that company will face a major problem. It was a VC funded company, yeah? So we actually exercise some moral pressure on the company that first repay our money back. So you know when you are in a closer community you can have all this, you know this kind of goodwill works. If people come from outside, right. Similarly admission process, you know you really need to do, uh, you need to have a good companies in the incubator and when you are doing, limiting yourself to a closer community due diligence process is much easier. Then you spread out to larger, how do you market? You don't have resource to market to a larger community. So focus on certain segment, it's good to focus on certain segment and maybe then you can you know broaden your funnel. So this is the point one and these are coming as a basically you can't explain that these are the reasons that but it helps us when you limit your focus to you know certain known people. So actually company fell but we got money back in that case. Uh, then then uh, uh, we, we conduct periodical appraisal process and we also insist about certain information submission from our company so, so that we get a sense where the company is going, uh, in which direction they are going, they are doing well, they are not doing, even if there is a change in shareholder, change in director, key people. You know, we insist that you have to submit this. In fact, one company they underwent, you know, uh, they, they went through some, some change in core promoters profile which was not acceptable to us. So actually that company moved out. We told them to move out. The company... Do you have a specific group of people moving or a fixed group or...? We sign. Uh, me. Yeah, yeah, no, so we basically, sign only does it, appraisal we do it and based on the need we touch base with the mentor on the issue side. Yeah. We also tell company that you require actually, you know, uh, help on this side and try to figure out those things. Uh, we generally, uh, sorry. Any qualifications are hidden aspects of the the company will be very well. Hmm. No, that's where our information submission, you know, helps. Yeah, and something, someone is, so one company actually we told them, so two cases I can tell you, one company they went through change in management team, core founder team, which we were not comfortable and we forced them to go out. One company actually was not submitting any information to us, they were also not paying us and these are recent cases, only in last, you know, seven, eight months. They were not paying our dues properly, we won't get any information, major attitude problem and we were not comfortable to deal with them. So we told them to move out and that also, we actually forced them to move out. So actually that's what, you need to have formal relationship, you know, legal agreement should, all these aspects are part of your legal agreement. Yeah. Uh, key from one of the key founding members should be from IIT and then there could be more that's not but one of the person should be from IIT. Is it necessary to have IP before uh, getting into the... We take IP base or product base so we, we obvious 
so not necessary to have it upfront but whatever you develop should go in direction of developing a product or generating ip okay okay generally we don't ask for board position because that comes with certain legal liability but uh, on case to case basis we uh, you know define observer position and being an observer we can get access to their board meetings their we we get to attend their board meeting we don't have voting rights but we get to know what is what is happening in the board yeah and then there are certain exit criteria so this is our operational framework so what why you need to have admission process in fact we never had an admission process in our crisit incubator you know crisit incubator boys or faculty member whoever is that they will just come out with one page summary and our internal team will assess them theek hai chalo you you are admitted take the key that's how used to happen no serious review process was being conducted then because even intention was you know different for for it incubator but after we set up a sign as a business entity you know structured the whole uh, admission process which is very important because you know it it ensures to it is it it's in fact uh, if you are a running commercial entity you really want to create a successful entity out of the incubator and that's why you need good companies coming to the incubator also good uh, appropriate process helps you know start up entrepreneurs to basically get insight into the kind of venture they are going into so you ask them to write a business plan you ask them to validate their assumptions yeah you ask them what kind of the team structure is going to be there and what kind of roles and uh, uh, obligation or each 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 founding member is going to uh, play when they go through the process they actually get insight into the venture you know they go to the market try to figure out whether what whatever they are offering trying to offer whether there is a need in the market for that uh, you know product offering or service offering or not it gives actually virtual insight into the ventures that they are getting into and the whole process become a very good mentoring process uh, and like once they go through it so no one let me tell you you tell them to write a business plan no venture sticks to its business plan in its original form it's so dynamic you know circumstances are so different when you think of something but by while you do it things are so different so no one sticks to the business plan but it is very good to go through the process because it brings lots of maturity you know to the entrepreneur in the entrepreneur and they become adaptive to the situation much faster so as long as sign is concerned our admission process is you know we we have initial informal discussion with the company on their idea product services whatever is there and by discussing with them we we generally get a sense whether it is goable doable or not and if it is it if it gives us positive sense then then we tell them to write a business plan review is happening at two level once we do it internal review but we also have our own limitations to understand all the business plan all all domain and plus you know we are biased because we are the same community right so we send it for the external review process and our typical reviewers are entrepreneurs business experts or domain experts or the people uh, you know who are investors industry professionals consultants those are the people who give us uh, uh, feedback and based on their feedback you know we take uh, take a call whether to admit a company or not to admit a company and even if it is a strategic or social venture we follow the same process because for this venture maybe there may not be a huge valuation but sustainability is very important so uh, any venture social, uh, social venture coming to us at least we 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 insist that that is not ngo but you know it is a commercial venture which is a self sustainable venture 
and like of course uh, admission process very important because you know good companies ensure success of the incubator uh, there are no fixed criteria or yardstick how do we do review process but we pay attention to four five elements when we take a call on company when we admit uh, one is business team and we generally don't take a single person team we we insist for two to three you know core team members at a venture level because business is you know it comes with so many functions and there is a bandwidth issue for a single person to manage everything by himself or herself ideally team member should have you know complementary skills so like all technology members no understanding for market no understanding for operation or legal or financial issue doesn't make sense even if you are four five member team doesn't make sense yeah so we look at the profile of the team in fact uh, my favorite quote is that you know a a grade business plan b grade team and b grade business plan a great team we will prefer this even if business plan is not clear but team is good ultimately they will execute because they will figure out the business dynamic and they will execute you are from business whether you agree for that or not all same right second second thing is that market market analysis that is done by the team because you may have great you know the only product in the world but there may not be a market doesn't make sense to start a business based on that product it, it looks good as a research project yeah but not really a, it doesn't make any business sense what is the service so same thing product solution service offering should be the need of the market if there is no need of the market you know uh, doesn't make to set up a venture and like you know what kind of clarity this team has you know uh, financial clarity what is their revenue assumptions on year on year basis how they are going to fund themselves are they planning to bootstrap some capital or trying to you know so you start with 1 lakh okay but 1 lakh will take you nowhere next month things will get over how do you do should have a road map on finance side also so these are the element we pay attention to when we deal with a particular business plan sorry the loan part of it huh huh loan by authority huh no 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 not at all infrastructure belongs to iit bombay so that is part of our legal so documents that is, that is a, a drawback for them yeah but you can't offer your kal utke unhone default kiya you lose your infrastructure so you help them but you don't take away their responsibility or right, you don't take their responsibility on you they have to figure out their own responsibility you can't offer your own asset as collateral it's out of question and that is where the, you are you are protecting your host interest otherwise one by one all units will be gone in favor of a bank some businesses also can get into some agreement with education institutions sorry you know you can have some understanding hmm. where uh, you create an incubator hmm. Pass on some of you know it can be. It's a sure fire formula for Over failure. Tax. <coughs> can this be done? Tax evasion. No. no, 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 I can't. Uh. See, uh, uh, most of the expenses and all that hmm. can be passed on to the uh, hmm. the organization, to the institution. Mm-hmm. No, but so where where this security and no, no, I think don't get into such complex things. because you don't understand and offering your asset as collateral to your incubator company it's a sure fire formula for failure yeah can do it. no no i think no one will do it no. academic institute will not allow yeah that is one thing because most of things are already taken care of what only, only very small uh, investment will go as as far as uh, incubator is concerned because uh, this uh, infrastructure all those things he doesn't have to have yeah he no no but then he still requires you know for his own ongoing activity you know for marketing 
scaling up operation, traveling, all those things they require funding. Yeah, infrastructure cost is taken care of. Yeah. Especially if you are developing a hardware product, you know, hardware product components and all those things need to be procured. Yeah, and capital expenses on the higher side. But I think as an academic institute, it does not make sense to get into this, you know, complicated affair. Because the whole purpose is to provide a platform for SME to come up, right? So, you do not want to get into financial engineering part. Yeah, it is on the book of the incubator. Asset that belongs to the incubator is on the book of the incubator. But for example, our, our infrastructure, incubator infrastructure, IIT has not given li list that asset to us. Yeah, they have just allow us to uh, operate our incubator from that land or premises, whatever is there, right? So, that infrastructure remains with IIT Bombay only. But our computer or whatever equipments we have procured, yeah, all this comes on our this thing, furniture, fixture, electric items, lab, laboratory equipments, video conferencing, office productivity equipments, that is our. So, how is this shown? Is it shown as, it's not shown it, as leasehold also? No, no, no. Uh, the, uh, land, the company, land, company, they do not show as asset at all. So, I mean most of the expenses are, uh, they cannot but they are not incurring. Uh, they, they are not incurring expenses. No, but when they don't have any revenue, where the uh, tax uh, tax ka baat hi initial. Yes, they have no, so they they have to pay revenue. You are starting off a business. Why you want to get into a financial engineering aspect? All those things, you know, very large scale makes sense. At a small level, you don't. When you are hundred crore company, think about all this financial. Tech. I think and it helps uh, even even for an first thing startup, you know, you don't have to worry about tax in first three years. No startup I was out of thirty three startup that we have incorporated, only four or five are paying tax in first initial three 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 years. They might be revenue generating, but their expense cycle is much or expense side is much more than revenue side. That's one thing. So that is one. Second thing is that you know, at a startup level, if you are tax paying, it enhances the profile. Yeah. So, I think no startup, and then gone are the days where you know you had complicated structure and you can look at this aspect to save the tax and all those things are even getting reform on taxation side. So, I think no startup, we will never advise our startup to get into financial engineering side. Keep the books very straightforward, very transparent, pay whatever is due there and go ahead. And especially at IPO level, if, if a startup wants to go in IPO level, even if it is not incubative profile, you know, 3 years clean balance sheet will be a tremendous value, will bring them tremendous value. So, so, so when I say that you know admission process gives them virtual experience uh, uh, of, of a real business. So, like you know, we always tell our boys that they, they generally there are lots of templates available on business plan. You know, you do Google and you will hit some million uh, million sites which will give you a template for writing a business plan. Also, writing your financial one spreadsheet will come and put some basic value and that other that PNN and balance sheet will be you know, uh, uh, it will come out with proper PNL and balance sheet. But we and we can figure out that who has done based on what kind of assumption or not. So we always push our boys, you know, that you don't do business plan sitting in your own room or own house. You go to the market. You can't actually do business in isolation. You have to figure out the need of the market. You have to meet the people. You have to meet the investors. You have to meet the consultant whether it is goable or not. Try to validate your assumptions. Yeah. So, team actually visits and studies, you know, uh, various business elements of the real commercial world, and that gives them lots of insight in the in, in the process. Also, also, you know, detailed study actually gives them a sense on the viability of the business. When you come with the idea, it sounds very great, but when you do the whole process, then you realize, you know, it's not a. In fact. I, 
I can give you some rough statistic. You know, one once in a month we get at least four five boys coming to us and talking about something. And when we encourage them to write a business plan, out of five, you know, three actually fizzles out in the process. They नहीं जाने वाला है because you know the assumption that they feel is so and it's so narrow. They feel something here. It's a great business potential. It is not the case. Yeah. Uh, and then the same thing the whole process bring lots of clarity and confidence to the team so actually when they go for vc pitch you know suddenly you feel that this boys have become so like and i have seen in 6 months our boys have you know the whole profile of our boys have become so mature in fact recently we have one company which got funded by a vc institutional vc yeah and uh, I, I remember when they came to us. It was basically uh, it's in the mechatronics area. The company is in mechatronics area, and the IIT Bombay recent graduates. Very clear. I don't want to uh, work. I want to start something on a, on on my own. And then boys did some some work on robotics and all those things. So they started conducting robotic workshop. Yeah, without any business plan, कहाँ पे जाएंगे? Down the line, three four years, what we will do? What will be our positioning? Yeah, market positioning value. What what is the offering from the company? No idea. Generally, try to figure out if we want to go in, get into robotic, whether it works or not. And it was very interesting. You know, in one year, they generated revenue of sixty lakhs, which was really impressive. Absolutely no experience. No understanding of the market, they just went into it and started doing, uh, conducting workshop. And as a part of workshop, they will sell their robot kits. And some, you know, ten months they generated revenue of sixty lakhs. And then they came to us for business incubation. And that time also they had no clarity how do we go about it. But we liked the boys very much. And in fact, we told them roughly write a business plan. But also business plan was also like you know. not really very this thing maturity but finally we took them in now next how do we scale up because you keep on conducting workshop so you go it becomes a very ad hoc approach right okay ye college mein you go to this college conduct workshop whatever you earn again second workshop you have to spend the money it's not a scalable business model because workshop again to conduct a workshop you require people and this boys were hiring iit students on ad hoc basis for 2 to 3 days pay them and they would conduct the workshop that is not a scalable model second thing in robotics itself you have so many you know vertical you have uh, so they were addressing some education robot but you have service robot you have industrial robots you have you know uh, defense robots now what and you can't do everything yeah being a small startup so you have to focus on one particular vertical and sign that time uh, we felt that since they were they have understood you know academic segment very well let them continue with the student community in academic segment with certain you know refinement on their execution side and business model side and then company also needed fund basically for scaling up so we went to one particular we see very clear i am not going to fund this company if they and he gave a very good idea okay if you create a puppet robot i will fund but not this this company yeah then there was one business plan competition very high profile another high profile we see from silicon valley say that yeah you guys are very impressive but if you get into service robo i am ready to fund you so lots of you know you get so many diverse view point ke kaha jao because now i have focus on academic side and suddenly i am getting you know inputs which distracts my focus yeah but we still felt that you just go because that is where they had executed have understood the market yeah we put them to couple of mentors and those mentors also felt that you could get into this only we will figure out funding requirement where you have decent revenue to keep going with your you know uh, operation at the moment and on education side then we systemize the whole value offering yeah and again we went to the same vc who 
said no those we see have funded this company because then now positioning value offering is so clear so crystal clear there is a huge scale also and the company got valued i think at the valuation of 9 crore yeah so 90 90 million indian rupees 9 crore so it's a pretty pretty decent valuation that the company got and so i, I think that is where i say that once you go through the review process and the whole thing happened during review process only yeah so it's very important and that's the reason i i was telling you earlier also in 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 you know focus yeah focus the area where you understand if we don't understand you know robotics robotics basically we have internal expertise at iit bombay we talk to the people and you know lots of inputs basically we get from them all. we have broad understanding about that area that you don't understand don't get into it because you will not be able to help your company unless you are a rental model that's a different issue yeah then it also becomes a strong mentoring process one way i said that we help them you know write a business plan in the process we advise them but more importantly you know since the review is happening Uh, or review process is being done by external experts their feedback is very important for this people because they they are the real business world and their feedback basically you know when they get feedback from the real world and then they focus on it you know it's a great source of you know getting validation that what i am doing is correct yeah and then not a After that, you know, you may not like you know, you may not be a fundable company in initial day. But by conducting this and by spreading business plan to this set of people, you get noticed by you. You know, your companies get noticed by these people, and they start tracking them. So, I uh, this robotics is a classic example, right? The, okay, you can approve for business, but it's not a fundable company, and eventually, same business have funded that company. Yeah. so they they also start tracking the company i mentioned how do you work on att- attracting entrepreneurs yeah in 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 academic environment it's a very difficult job yeah so before you start talking about you know okay you come and start your venture i think it is important to create visibility of the incubator itself show your successes bring your guys. yesterday roshan and all those people they are very good cases for ourselves and when when we take them to our students during you know that student program and they take you know this is a home product easy to relate with yeah i'm not talking about infosys narayan moti and nandan nilakani which is not un logan ki everyone can't achieve but roshan girish saraf you know kashyap kashyap has become a, yes sir kashyap was that Kashyap Devra was right. He is a serial entrepreneur. Yeah, first venture was there. Now he has set up another venture. Yeah, easy to relate with them, right? And how do basically so bring those people and create visibility that they are our own people and what we are doing and how we are helping. It's important to create. In our case, every student uh, event, be it tech fest, be it you know. cultural mood indigo be it isel event we are always there sign is always there yeah and that's how it has helped every department we periodically go and talk to the departments in fact we we face many time very naive question why iit is focus is only research why are you distracting people you know all those naive questions also but we address them so i think it is important first to create a visibility for the incubator then you know address address the limitation of the target target audience because they have different priority now this faculty member feel there is a you know safe route to commercialize technology so why should i get into this jamela of you know entrepreneurship it's a risky business you need to explain why it is necessary to get into it what are the upside of the uh, scaling uh, upside of setting your own venture and even student community we have a standard pitch to our student that job market is not difficult these days try experiment for couple of 
years if you if it feels fine you go and get absorbed in the job but it is worth experimenting and this funded company is actually you know becomes a very good role model for us funded or any successful companies you know which are sustainable on its own yeah so several approach to type of entrepreneurs what we do is that you know for us like i i always say that our job is uh, job begins much before the idea comes to the business incubator we constantly keep ourselves updated with institutional activity we go to our dean r and d office try to figure out who is doing what kind of activity where is the industry trend going on so on so forth in the process we figure out also that try to figure out that which is the faculty member who is exposed to the commercial world try to talk to them and try to you know bring them to the incubator level i i said that i have already said talking at the department level participate in academic program project real life story some of the cases have been are being uh, even taught at our school of management and isel is a great place to get the feel of the student trend yeah and then you can capture them isel is entrepreneurship cell on the campus i think now most of the college has isels on their campuses yeah successful companies they are the best role model and like you know informal informal interaction it has helped us a lot we generally help so i i told you i come with a legal and compliance background yeah now most of the faculty members even our dean r and d cell doesn't have that much legal competence ah so whenever they talk about technology like you know they are interacting with industry negotiation and all those thing or any agreement whether sign gets anything or not i just help them yeah and that enhances lots of confidence in the community okay here is the set of people you will get a good advice from from them so i think this kind of informal interaction always you know helps in the it has a very good impact legal framework we have commercial agreements with the companies facility agreement agreement for consideration which is equity rent as well as revenue sharing we also incorporate conflicting issues aspect in this agreements there are separate agreement for the agreement uh, for transfer of technology which is you know between the institute sign and the companies here and all our agreement has this two clauses indemnification and disclaimer in favor of sign as well as in favor of our incubator that by incubating you in the company we don't you know assure that you will be a successful entity otherwise like who knows sometimes you know this product didn't work and suddenly you have some damage uh, claim coming on you so all agreements actually take care of this indemnification is that because of your action if i face any problem entire cost has to be borne by you so commercial liability commercial so that is you have the cost we have all agreements disclaimer disclaimer is that by having you or by transferring technology by being an incubate or iit bombay technology doesn't ensure i'm giving you example yeah doesn't necessarily you know guarantee that it's a workable or it is you know you will be successful or all, all those things yeah some concluding remarks high standards set, uh, are set for the company at the initial stage you know it's good that if you have appropriate admission process you really set very high standard for them because at the admission whatever you discuss or businessman actually becomes the benchmark for 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 review uh, reviewing their progress you know for the company it also brings visibility to the company and the incubator it enhances the chances for the company's success certainly we have seen when compare it incubator and sign incubator we have created you know 33 company over a period of 7 years i feel it is a pretty decent number initially 14 companies we got two opportunities subsequently 17 18 company we got eight opportunities in first two years to liquidate our equity that means eight companies got investment 
yeah. And then finally, success of the company also ensures success of the incubator. Yeah. Any question? Thank you.